So as you've been looking around at music instruction videos and music analysis related things, you might have come across people talking about Roman numerals, or seeing people use them to describe music when explaining it. And what Roman numerals are all about is having a system to recognize and organize the harmonies, the chords, of a piece of music. It's something that's derived from classical music analysis, but can be applied to lots of music in multiple genres that relies on using traditional major and minor scales and chords. Basically how it works is like this. You take the chords of the scale your piece of music is using, let's say it's using C major, and the chords of the C major chord scale. and you assign Roman numerals to each one. Uppercase one for the C chord, our root chord, lowercase two for D minor, lowercase three for E minor, uppercase four for F, uppercase five for G, lowercase six for A minor, lowercase seven with a little degree sign for B diminished, and then you get back up to one again for the next C major chord up. We use uppercase numerals for major chords and lowercase numerals for minor chords. And we have some other details that we can add depending on how in-depth we want to get. But these numerals tell you about specific chords and chord positions based on a scale. And once you know what those chords are, you can use the numerals to identify them instead of the chord names. So if you tell me to play a six chord in C major, I'm going to play you this A minor which is the sixth chord of that scale. Four in C major would be F major. Notice at this point, I don't even need to specify uppercase or lowercase. If you tell me a C major scale and say one of the numbers, I'm going to default to what is in the C major scale. Uh, one in C major would be C major, and two would be D minor, and so on. And this can be translated to any other scale. So if we go to the D major scale, the Roman numerals would now be applying to the same position chords along that scale. One would be D major, two would be E minor, three would be F sharp minor, four would be G major, five would be A major, six would be B minor, seven with a little degree sign would be C sharp diminished, and then of course at the top we would get D again for one. Now playing the same sequence of chords, for example, I just did for C major, the sixth chord in D major would now be B minor. Four would be G major, one would be D major and two would be E minor. This can be a very powerful tool once you learn your scales and chords well, because you can switch to thinking about the chords as the same series of numerals, no matter what scale you're in.